हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फाइव मिनट पीडियाटिक्स टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दिस इज मेड फॉर प्रोफेशनल ओनली सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद अफेक्ट ऑफ आइनोट्रॉप्स एंड वैसो प्रेसर ड्रग्स ऑन नियोनेट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डोपामीन डोपामीन फाइव एम एल एम्पल कंटेनिंग टू हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम सो इफ वी गिव डोपामीन इट एक्ट्स इन डोज डिपेंडेंट मैनर एट डिफरेंट रिसेप्टर सो At low doses, that is less than फाइव microgram per kg per minute, it increases renal blood flow, mesenteric blood flow, and coronary blood flow. Okay, if we suspect renal ischemia or mesenteric ischemia, we can start at dopamine at low doses, and it has little effect on cardiac output. in intermediate dose 5 to 9 microgram per kg per minute dopamine has positive inotropic effect and chronotropic effect okay it is somewhat cardio selective at this dose in high doses at 10 to 20 microgram per kg per minute it causes vasoconstriction it increases systemic vascular resistance by releasing non epinephrine from sympathetic vesicles as well as it acts on directly on alpha adrenergic receptor dopamine resistant shock commonly respond to non epinephrine or high dose of epinephrine now we have dobutamine okay it is also available in 5 ml ampoule containing 250 mg relatively cardio selective inotropic effect dose is 5 to 15 microgram per kg per minute it increases cardiac output with little effect on heart rate it can decrease svr that is can cause hypotension so 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 often used with dopamine to improve cardiac output in case of decreased myocardial function dobutamine inotropic effect are independent of non epinephrine stores while dopamine inotropic effect is dependent on myocardial non epinephrine store so this point is very very important okay so you must understand epinephrine now we have 1 ml containing 1 mg 1 is to 1000 concentration epinephrine has potent inotropic and chronotropic effect at a dose of 0.05 to 0.3 microgram per kg per minute it has mostly beta 2 activity very very much alpha receptor activity so it decreases systemic vascular resistance so it is not first line inotropic drugs in newborn epinephrine is an effective adjunct therapy to dopamine because cardiac non epinephrine stores readily depleted with 
prolonged and high rate of dopamine infusion non epinephrine may be the preferred agent for shock with low systemic vascular resistance it is recommended first line agent in fluid refractory hypotensive hyperdynamic shock in cold shock epinephrine we use and in ha- in warm shock we use non epinephrine as drug of choice hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching kindly subscribe my channel and share my video amongst your colleague watch it multiple times to understand it better thanks thanks for watching